<laughs> Greetings, Israel. Peace, peace, peace. This is, so your Israel, what now? A lecture. This is not a ministry. This is a lecture. And I am speaking to you plainly. And I am nobody but your sister and a woman child to the most high. And today's lecture is going to be how to keep the Sabbath a delight. Parental control conduct. Okay, so to get right to it. How can we keep the Sabbath a delight? By creating house rules. And first understanding that <laughs> foolishness is bound in the heart of a child. Children, teens, kids are being trained up. And they act out, making them uncontrolled vessels. Uncontrolled vessels. So, what could the house use? Make Sabbath rules. Explain, along with no pleasures, no burdens, on this day as well. That means... <laughs> no crying, <laughs> no crying, no whining, hollering, fussing, yelling, screaming, arguing, tattletelling, no spankings, no firecracker talk because the tongue kindles fire and it's a murderer as well. No bothering, no stress, no mess, no burdens. We want to lay down our heavy laden burdens and filter out the cares and concerns of this world. And that means the worldliness within us because we all got some mercy. We must want to seek peace on this day. Put our own selves aside and delight in the Sabbath. When things arise, wait until sundown, if possible. If your child acts out, do you have to exercise your authority? The answer is no. Understand, when you're living accordingly, attacks come through children. Spiritual attacks to throw you off balance spiritually. So you simply recognize them and their actions and let them know you'll deal with them at sundown. Let them think about that. By doing this, it can help to temper the body and mind. You're learning to control yourself, perfecting the possessing of the fruits of the spirit and how to handle others and other issues outside the Sabbath day. Let them kids act the fool on their own. <laughs> you handle it with stern strictness and drop it. Don't dwell on it. Handle it at sundown. This day come once a week. Don't let them kids bother you. When you're giving grace and mercy during this time period, guess what? To receive grace, you have to also offer grace. 
or to receive mercies, you also have to give mercies. If you're not having mercy for nobody else, why should the Father have mercy upon you in any situation that you may get find yourself in? And as a matter of fact, you don't have to do, a lot of times you won't have to do nothing. <laughs> the Father will come around and swap that tail for you. <laughs> Quick short story so if you don't handle it and if you give it to the father oh he'll handle it it's possible i know <laughs> because once my baby girl being hard-headed once went to a family member's house and found herself in some lucky charms yes and I was mad. I said, Father, I said, I'm not going to put hands on this child because I know she's about to fall ill from eating what she's eaten. Because if you don't know, marshmallows have, have pork. And there are kosher marshmallows. So, two or three days passed. And I was like, Father, you going to let her get away with this? <laughs> and you know what happened baby girl fell sick baby girl fell ill cause I said I'm not gonna put hands on her cause I know she finna fall sick and so I'm gonna let her get through this sickness so it can tear her tail <laughs> Said, Mama, I, I won't eat pork no more. I know you won't. Because sometimes children need to see to believe, to know. And sometimes they have to go through to find out as we do as well as adults. It was a lesson learned. <laughs> and recognized too. When they... When the father come around and swap that tail for you. <laughs> they gonna hurt themselves or find themselves hurt. And you won't do nothing but correct them and point out to them what they did and who actually spanked them. So, <laughs> keep the Sabbath a delight. You don't have to have your own will because you're practicing to be a controlled vessel. When we give mercy to our children and to others, he will mercy us. He will give mercies unto us, okay? <laughs> it's real. <laughs> so, the Sabbath is supposed to be a delight. We are not, we are to shed off the world and self to rest the mind and body and restore the spirit. Every household is different and each person has a role in how they choose to live accordingly to the gospel. But most importantly is to avoid unrighteousness and unrighteous conversations. And that means conversations between your children as well should not be unrighteous. We are to avoid unrighteous conversations on this day. The best thing I, you can put on on the Sabbath is a smile. Is a smile. And humble thyself because you're in the role to be the controlled vessel because children are uncontrolled vessels. When a child say they don't know why they did what they did, take heed. 
take heed to that. Why? Because spirits travel in children as well. So, parental control, parental conduct, conduct yourselves righteously, and keep the Sabbath a delight. <laughs> All right, Israel, that'll be it for this lecture on how to keep the Sabbath a delight. Parental control conduct. So, be blessed. <laughs>